Welcome to an Axim, groundwater modeling software that you can use for the simplest of things that you might otherwise have used hand calculations for on up to moderately complex models that you might have used numerical models for. It tends to be faster and in many cases more accurate than those numerical models. This model is at the simple end of the spectrum and it is a uniform cross flow established by this outer boundary, a well, and a permeable trench. We'll zoom in to show that a little more clearly. The vicinity of the well and trench. If we hover over the well, shows you that it's a discharge specified well. If we hover over this boundary, it shows an that it's an interdomain boundary separating the outer area and the more permeable trench. The red show the path lines and the capture zone of this well and if we hover over the arrowheads it shows their elevations as well as the elapsed time of travel. In this case this would be 400 days out from the well. This simple model only took about 15 minutes to develop. This is an example of a fairly complex model. This one has four levels. It's three-dimensional and it's heterogeneous out in this area there's crystalline bedrock that's anisotropic and fairly low permeability and out in this area with flat gradients this is an area of sand and gravel valley fill that's quite permeable. As we move around the plot you'll see to the left that the coordinates change and the domain name will change the head, head minus the head and the layer below it, saturated thickness and so on will change and you can see there's quite a lot to display here. We can also hover over these numbers which are calibration residuals. They are color coded depending on whether the modeled heads are too high or too low. If we hover over a boundary like this it'll tell us what it is and we can zoom in on that, select it and if we wanted to we could change the location of vertexes just by simply dragging things like that. This is a vertical profile of that complex model created from within an axiom and it shows model layering in gray, path lines in red, and piezometric surfaces in blue. An axiom's user interface is tightly integrated and data for model input and other things is edited in database tables like this, which are very easy to use, drop down lists where appropriate, and you can copy rows, you can paste in rows from outside sources. Now let's take a quick tour of model input. You can have domains, regions within the model that are confined, unconfined, or fresh saltwater interface domains, pumping wells that are discharge specified or head specified, and discharge specified ones can span multiple domains. Line boundaries, there's a long list here. Take a minute to look at that, maybe pause the video. Every kind of line boundary you could hope for is there, I think. Area sources and sinks, which are used to model vertical leakage, recharge, and storage changes in transient models. Plot input is also edited in tables like this and your plot can contain a base map, DXF file, it can show the elements, it can show spatially variable area sync polygons, contours, path lines, vectors, and calibration statistics. And under this menu you can control things like the contours and path lines and vectors quite carefully. There's also an analysis menu that shows a lot of different ways you can examine the results of a model. You can graph conditions along a line to make a vertical profile. You can graph transient head along a line like I show right here. You can graph head hydrographs and many other things. Thank you for your interest in an axiom and please explore the website if you'd like to learn more.